So after hours of thinking about what can I say to make the video very interesting, listen, we're just gonna track progress. We're gonna do the best that we can to get better today. So what we have in store is some deadlifts, about 45 minutes, I'm gonna put, set a timer on my watch, about 45 minutes of deads. Then we're gonna do some lap pull downs. And then we're gonna do some bar rows. So hopefully get 365, five sets of four with, with some deads, uh, about 200 pounds on the lap pull down with the V bar. And then about 185, five sets of eight with the rows. Okay, three main lifts. And then throw in some bicep curls, like five sets of 15 with uh, 35s. The goal right now is to track progress. So we're gonna hit some core lifts, we're gonna hit it hard, hit it fast. So today we had 10 hours of work. We worked two jobs. I middle school worked out of elementary school. We had two jobs today, so we're pretty worn out. We worked 10 hours come home, cook supper for my wife, and then talked on the phone for about an hour to my cousin. Then uh, I set an alarm on my phone, laid in the floor and just rested for about 10 minutes. Took 200 grams of caffeine and here we are. So we're gonna try to get better. So this is what we love to do. We've thought about in the, being in the gym all day. And here it is at power hour. About 10.30 right now at night time. And I have to say that I'm, I'm really excited for this. So let's get the dopamine flowing. Deadlifts are officially done. We done 25 reps with 365. That was a working set. I believe we went up all the way to a 455 with one rep max. Kindly test the waters with their strength. We are cutting. We're trying to lose body weight. Our, my max deadlift of all time, I believe, was 485. So we're about 40 pounds off from that. Which my body weight was 230 at the time. I was on creatine, which is a legal supplement, you get at Walmart, get online, everybody can take it, five grams a day. But right now, I'm off creatine. Only thing I'm taking is whey protein and pre-workout. Feeling really good, we got lat pull downs with the V-bar, and then we got bar rows with the barbell, and then we're gonna call it a night. It's been a long day. We got in here at 10.30, it is now 11.30. So I've been in deads for an hour. A lot of volume, a lot of sets. Feel really good about the progress that I made. Uh, so our body weight is currently about 205. The goal is to shred down, it's about 190, so about 15 pounds, and then we'll see if I'm happy at 190. Which, with Checking your physique, you can look in the mirror. You know you'll always want more. But we gotta set a goal, set a short-term goal that can be achieved within three months, 190. 
and then go after the big long-term goal, which would be cutting down to 180 even, if I'm not satisfied with my physique. But the goal right now is to cut down body weight while maintaining as much strength as possible. So my deadlift's pretty good. I took 200 milligrams of caffeine before this workout, six grams of adaline, six grams of L-citrulline, and four and a half grams of glutamine. Okay, mix up in a shake. So if you guys don't know, I make my own custom pre-workout because I don't want to be underdosed buying a generic pre-workout. So I spent over $100 to get all the ingredients to make my own custom pre-workout. So, but yeah, it'll draw your brains out. 200 grams of caffeine is about, about as much as I want. I know certain energy drinks like Rain has 300 grams of caffeine. Just be careful, don't take too much. It increases anxiety, you'll get jittery, and could have heart, could have heart attack. So just be cautious. Now the more caffeine you take, the more tolerance you'll be, and the more you'll have to take over time to feel the same effect. Now the way that you can combat that is just coming off caffeine, and then going back onto it weeks later to re-establish your neurotransmitters to be saturated with, with caffeine again so they'll get excited again because they're, they're already used to one another, the caffeine and the neurotransmitters. So if you take a break from caffeine, the neurotransmitters are gonna get excited again.